<laughs> what the hell is this? Get, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, well, welcome to the inside of Satan's living room. It is hot. It is, <laughs> oh Lord. I simply am not prepared for this heat. Welcome into today's video, you guys. I have another indie brand eyeshadow haul for you. I have been purchasing more palettes, but a lot of these are still coming in from some of the orders that I placed while I was filming those other videos. If you guys have not seen any of those other videos, please check out my channel. I think I have three other indie brand eyeshadow hauls. Ooh, I need to throw on some lip oil real quick, but I have another treat for us, okay? I have some more indie brand shadows that I've got here, including like one bronzer blush type product that I'm interested in checking out. So we are doing what I normally do, my standard. I will show you guys each of these palettes. We'll do some swatches, some live swatches. We're doing just a haul style while we get to play around with some of these shadows, test the quality. Some of these brands are brand new to me and hopefully I'm showing you guys some brands maybe you haven't even heard of and we have a little bit of fun. So if that sounds good to you guys, let's get into it. I have 11 different things. So there's 10 different palettes and there's one like blush type slash bronzer type product. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but I'm pretty sure that's like how it was marketed. Anyway, we'll get to that when we get to that. I don't have any alcohol in today's video, okay? Mm. This is just my coffee, coffee. All right, let's start off with a brand that's brand new to me. I haven't tested anything from this brand and one of these is a new release. So I picked up two things from Lady Glow Cosmetics. This one is Mysteriosa, I think. It's a quad and it is the new release of the two things that I picked up. I thought I might put this in a video like testing new makeup and I still actually might. It really just depends because there's actually a couple of things that are new releases that are in here. I think there's two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like two things. It just looked like a fun quad when I saw it release on Makeup On Your Radar 2's page on Instagram and I thought I would check this out. We might as well just swatch all four of these shades. I'm digging my little fingies into it. They are like swirled or speckled. They're speckled, that's what they are. Here's two of the shades. I mean, they come out a solid color. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention you guys, I do have the fan on up here today. It is a floor fan, so it's blowing on me so that I can continue to film because I know my schedule is gonna get crazier and I'm just not gonna have time to film as much during the daytime anymore, um, which is like the tolerable time to film up here during the spring and summer because it just gets, it gets really hot upstairs, like getting hit if you can see like how bright it is by the sun at this time of day. Anyway, here's two of the shades. Oh, they're so pretty. They're like rainbow. They're kind of cool. They have like a, a little bit of a silver sparkle to them. I was almost gonna say blue, but they are, they're really pretty. I never know what to think about like speckled shades. This black and silver one looks really interesting, but it's gonna come out like this really gunmetal color. Yeah, look at that. Now this last one is like, what is this, five in there? And I saw it swatched online with each one of the shades. I'm not gonna do that. I can't get my finger or brush into that, so I'm just gonna swirl all of these together and just defile it immediately. And there is all four shades swatched. The last one came out, <laughs> not what I was expecting. It's almost like a, a pinky, taupe shade like having swirled all those shades together they're really pretty i don't think they're overly foiled but they're definitely really sparkly like they don't have a ton of texture to them they have a lot of sparkle and by the way you guys these will all be listed in the description box so if you guys want to check any of these out or go to their website and see what else these brands have on their website i will be linking them in the description box i do have a code with one of these brands which we will get to the next one that I got from Ladybug Glow is, it looks like a collaboration with Eye Scream Beauty. It's the end of the rainbow palette. I wanna say this was like pretty affordable. So in addition to the Mysteriosa, I hope I'm saying this right, new release, I wanted to get something else that had mattes in it so that I could test their matte formula. Here's this little delightful spring and summer looking palette. You've got bright colors, but then you've also got some deeper tones too. So like if you wanted to deepen, that's always nice. There are three shimmers down the middle and I wanna say, that they're all duo and or multi-chromes. So we always be swatching these shimmers. Okay, all right, which ones are we gonna do? I'm gonna start with all of these shimmers. Wow, they look like they're super foiled, but then they're really soft. No texture, 
This one maybe is a little bit more chunky, this last one in Magical. Ooh, it's got a yellow tinge to it. Do you guys know about my obsession with yellow shifties? I love a shimmer that shifts yellow. That purple one was a little bit chunky. It looks fully like white in the pan, but it's definitely yellow on this swatch. It's so delish. All right, let's watch some of these matte shades here. I'm gonna like jump around. Some of the bright ones, some of the deeper ones. I like this like taupey gray shade. Let's just get these on. Oh, they swatch pretty nicely, don't they? Ooh, this one was really soft. This is the taupey shade I was talking about. Like, look at this grayish taupey shade. Like, it looks delightful. You know what? We might as well just swatch all of them. Let's get this whole color story on, shall we? Here's the last one, which is the first one, which is a green shade, which might be my least favorite matte shade. I dislike greens like this, like kind of brighter, truer greens on me. But it's a fun color story. You can definitely do a lot of things here. Like you could keep it neutral if you wanted to and then take it pretty bright if you wanted to. Um, these don't feel like extra foiled. So if you guys don't like extra foiled shades, it feels pretty good. I'm gonna go through my standard 55 wet wipes doing this. Yeah, that Hope shade and like the Clover shade or even the Cloudy shade, like this one, this one, this one, and this one, like those would look so delicious together. And then if you wanted to take the yellow one in, like this shifts kind of yellow, that would be delicious. Using it with this one, oh, I could do a lot of things with this nine pan. And sometimes nine pans are just so much more exciting because they're not overwhelming. So long as they're not like super monochromatic, I can always see like a ton of different looks in there. All right, here's another one that is brand new to me. It's from Mad Witch Cosmetics. I want to say this is a brand new release as well. Like first palette that they've launched, this is a brand new brand. This is the Celestial Collective. It's the Chance palette. So brand new indie brand, first brand new release. I had to jump on it. I am actually really excited for this color story. It's pretty dark, but sometimes like color stories like this, they just, they take me away. I have to say like two of the shades definitely look pretty similar, but the reason that they, they get me like this is because I love like super deep shades in the outer corner with any kind of shimmer, like any colored shimmer. You can almost always take like a super dark brown or a super deep black in the outer corner and pair it with any shimmer if you don't go in with like any other matte and you just like put the shimmer like all over the lid. I think that looks absolutely stunning. Obviously you can do more than that here, but that's why this particular palette excites me. All right, we're digging into the shimmers first. Oh, I have staining left over. Oh my, okay. Ooh, whoa, some of these are really like wet still. This green one, I'm already a mess. This Venture one feels like a satin shade. Like, you know those tacky satin shades? All right, let's start here. That one felt kind of foiled or like wet when I was putting it on, but here's the really, really wet one. Oh, you guys, it's like slimy even. I think it got too much oil to it. Still looks good, still swatched really well, but I think it has too much oil. Oh, look at this sparkly black. It's got gold in it. It was the one that I said was like a satin. It kind of is, but it has the gold sparkles like gold sparkly pigments in it, which I think is actually pretty cool. All right, I wanna see how similar some of these matte shades are. So the two that were like sitting on top of each other, Destiny and Opportunity. Okay, this is like a, a lighter gray and this is a deeper gray. Will it come out that way? Actually, that's almost like purple. Do you guys see how it has like a, a purplish-ness to it? And that one's definitely deeper. Mm, depends on what you want to do with it. I think it could come out pretty similar depending upon how you use the shade. All right, let's do some more shimmers. I definitely want to swatch this black shade and then maybe the white shade too. Oh, that one's like super deliciously creamy. This one also feels kind of like a satin. I want to say the ones in the left hand column are like softer less foiled. You got different textures in here. This orange one is more chunky like the green one started out to be. All right, let's swatch these last ones that are the white and black shade. I think some of the mattes here are maybe a little bit stiff and you gotta like warm them up because that white one isn't super intense. Ooh, however, that black one is. But yeah, I could see myself pairing like any one of these shimmers with the deeper shades in here. And I didn't even swatch one of them. Like one of them is a deep brown shade. But like, couldn't you see like this delicious fiery look if you used this orange shade right here with like this black? Like that would be delicious. 
even the green with the black oh i mean overall like it's a preference thing i really like when you have deeper mattes in a palette and you can have lighter or mid-tone shimmers or even deeper shimmers and that doesn't bother me at all so i'm really excited to play with this and honestly, almost always, if I can find a redeeming quality in the color story, I will always try and support smaller brands. When it's a brand new release especially, I think that's nice. Like if I ever created my own, I would hope others would do the same for me because it takes a lot to start an independent brand. You've got to get financing, you got to get funding, or you got to go and spend your own money and you're taking a risk, you know? You don't know if it's gonna pan out. And getting people from social media is like really the way to ensure that you get your word out there. And they're like people like you and me shipping their stuff from their house. All right, let's do this next one. I got something in my eye. This is another palette from Bella Beauté Bar. You guys, if you've watched any of the other videos, you know I'm obsessed with Bella Beauté Bar. I literally am so excited for her new releases. She's coming out with some liquid blushes and she's coming out with some, I think, tinted lip balms and I picked up some of her lip oils. I cannot help myself. I really think everything that she puts out is amazing. This is the Angles of Illumination palette and I think it came back in stock is what it was. It's an all shimmer palette and it's pretty expensive. I do have a discount code. It is Carrie Megan for 10% off. Please feel free to check it out. I had my eye on this, but like I think I was like, do I want it? Do I not want it? But I've said this so many times, everything that I get from Bella Beauté Bar turns out to be so much better once it arrives and in comparison to other brands with similar formulas which by the way you guys can hate me for this or not but i feel like ensley rain and bella beauté bar have very very similar shimmer formulas like when it comes down to it like swatching it and their performance i think overall they turn out very similar um, I even think like Bella Beauté Bar sometimes gives you a little bit more variety, but she tends to be a little bit more cost effective. Ensley Rain's palettes are usually a little bit bigger too. Like I don't mean to compare like to say to hate, but as far as like some of the similarities in terms of the formula, that's just what I found. Anyway, I will link my discount code in the description box as well, or uh, type it out. All right, it's like a blue row, a purple row, a lighter purple row, and then the pinky neutral row in the opposite order. So maybe I'll just like take a couple from each row. Oh boy, these are creamy. Every one of these looks like a, a different, a little bit of a different texture. Like each row has one that appears to be like a little bit of a softer shimmer, and then some of them appear to have a little bit more chunkiness about them. And of course you can move these around because they are removable magnetic pans, not just removable. Ooh, that one's like oily they're easy to take out they just pop right out so that was two from the blue row and two from the purple row they all felt super creamy all right what inspires me these two shades that are next to each other look pretty similar let's swatch both of them like just to see yeah they do these two right here do seem very similar and these are some of my favorite kind of oh they're almost like the exact same thing that's a little oopsie daisy um i almost want to say like i saw that somewhere that it came out the same from the lab why do i think i remember them saying that and so it was like a little bit of a discount because it came back like that maybe i'm crazy and that was like a different palette all right let's do some more of these oh this white one is like <gasps> chunky oh yoy, yoy. oh my gosh it is so oily oops wrong finger oh that one's different that one's like a satin with sparkle that last one mm, mm. i need to slow down with the all shimmer palettes though because i can only do like one shimmer per look usually and so trying to test every one of these shades to get an idea of like which ones i really like or whatever i it takes me so much longer Ooh, this last row is really pretty. These three came from the last row. One, two, three. But they just, I don't know, they look like super neutral shades. So you've got some color in here, but you've also got some like really everyday neutral shades. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I will say though, some of these are super duper extra creamy. Like some of them definitely have more oils in them than others like that white one anyway just different textures i'm never disappointed <laughs> also the packaging is always like sturdy and cool okay i picked up another palette from saint angel sinners i picked up a new release of theirs which was called reckless 
and I feature this in a video I think testing new makeup so I've already used that one but I liked it so much and they had a sale I wanted to try something else from the brand since I enjoyed that palette so much this is spring look at this little beauty she's so cute is this just called the blessed palette Saint Angel Sinners is blessed one but many I'm not sure what the palette name is called other than maybe one but many I don't know okay mm, some of these shimmers look delish it's just delish. Ooh, these are like a satin, maybe softer, like not as foiled shimmers here. Some of these um, might be duochromes too. Ooh, that one's actually like a little bit different. This one's like a little bit gritty. Hmm, that one's different. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's not like your normal, like super shimmer shade. That's almost like a satin shade that really needs to be rubbed in. Not very creamy at all. It's much drier. This next one is much creamier. This is so pretty. I don't care how many shades I have like that. I still get <gasps> Wilma. Ooh, that's so pretty. I still get Goo Goo Gaga over like pink shimmers, pink goldy shimmers. Okay. I'm pretty sure this one is a duochrome right here. And Chloe, let's do Darcy. Let's do this one, which is like the same kind of like purpley mermaid shade. This one right here that I absolutely love. Ooh, you guys look at that one. Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm getting so many shades that are similar to this in my collection. I'm noticing, I'm just, I'm drawn to palettes that have shades like that, but I think a lot of people are putting them in there as well. I think the reason I really wanted this palette is because it has that deep black shade. Tell me if you guys are like that. Like if you have like a pastel palette, just like what Blend Bunny has done, I even wanna say Bella Butte Bar did a pastel palette too, where it had like a deep black shade. I think it's so important. I love when that happens because there's not always like deepening shades necessarily for like pastel colors. And I feel like you can still go bright in this case, but like you could smoke it out or just do it right here just to deepen a tone up or you can sometimes like mix those lighter shades together. I don't know. I just, I really enjoy when they throw like a black in with like a pastel or a bright spring color story. I just, I really enjoy that. Oh my God. They have some of the best mattes, you guys. They are creamy oh they feel like little pans of silk the same thing in the reckless palette like they're some of the creamiest mattes i'm telling you guys and they performed really well i'm getting to swatching some of the mattes now oh look at that black shade oh shiza that's intense let's do this last like white one Ooh, it's like the green one where it's a little bit dry oh it's a translucent one but it's like chunky I had to roll it under my nail to get it like that. It looks really white in the pan, but it ends up coming out like, you know, is that like a little bit blue? It's just fun. Again, it's like greenish purple springtime with that black shade thrown in there. And I really liked this shade too. This just looked super yummy. It's like a green gold. Mm, I could see myself having a fun time with that shade, like especially pairing it with maybe a green transition shade and then that deep black in the outer corner. Yes. Okay, I just realized this, but these are all names. St. Angel Sinners is blessed and then it says one but many. Do you see these are all different names? And then that black shade is family. Like I'm wondering if these are all names of their family members. Cause this says one God, many faces, one family, many races, one truth, many paths, one heart, many complexions, one light, many reflections, one world, many imperfections, one. We are all one but many. Cute. It's cute. All right, let's go over two palettes from a brand that I have hauled from before and have swatched on my channel for you guys. It's It's Belle Cosmetics. They're a brand out of Puerto Rico. This is Break the Rules palette. I want to say this is an all shimmer palette. And I also want to say that they at one point had a sale. And so I ended up getting this or that some of their stuff was like being discontinued, which is the second palette, Cool Summer. This I think is going bye-bye, so it was like half off at $24. I got this one because it's like a black-based all shimmer palette, and I wanted to try like an all shimmer palette from them, I guess, I don't know, just, I like buying palettes. Um, and this one has like a good color family here. Like you really do get quite a bit of variety in this one. Like it's all over the place, not just like variations of different tones. So like bright pink, light pink, green. Oh my gosh. It's Belle Cosmetics really does have such a beautiful shimmer formula. I have tested some of their mattes in the Cool Summer Press Pigment Palette and they performed really well. I have not tried one of the shimmers on my eyes yet, I don't think. It's hard to remember at this point, but I don't think so. Here's another one of those mermaidy shades right here. I don't know why it makes me think of mermaid. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. These are delish. They're super creamy. Some of them are foiled and some of them are not. To make sure I'm swatching properly, so I'm like using this mirror over here. I don't know if this was one of the palettes that was going. I don't think so. I think this is just one that I wanted to pick up. I thought these were all black based, but they're not, as you can see. I think I just swatched that one shade twice. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's, let's do the not listening shade. I think I meant to do this lighter green one. Oopsie daisy. Okay, there you go. It says with three different different finishes, shimmers, duochromes, and metallics, you can pump up every look. Okay, so you've just got your standard glitter shimmer, metallic, and duochromes. So different formulas in here, and it tells you which ones are which. And the metallic ones are the ones that I said were black-based. It's these two colors out here. I don't know if they are black based, but they are metallics and I would like venture to guess that they are just because they're so dang deep. Yeah, but it's lovely that it tells you which one is which because they don't always do that and you don't always like see it on the website either. It's not always posted. So sometimes I'm just guessing. If you don't give me a guide, on the actual pages website, I don't know. So I like that they posted that. Wow, you guys, the green one that I swatched twice that I thought was that black base, it's like really hard for me to get those off. See those two spots on my arm? Okay. All right, this one I actually did start to swatch on my Instagram channel, the Cool Summer Palette. I'm trying to get more into Instagram, but it's so freaking hard. I find it hard enough with my schedule to find time to film and edit and do all that good stuff. And I still feel like I post quite a bit. Sorry, it was like something was stuck on my hand. So I just, I don't have time to like post short videos on Instagram as much as I would like to. I can see some of the oils are like leaking out of this shade already. Oh, that's the one that came broken. The swatches on some of these were delicious though. Like this one is like a, a oh my gosh, look at my hands. A like sparkly, almost like a satin shade, honestly. But this just looked like, again, a really fun, spring and summer palette okay pretty different in terms of formula like this one's like all sparkle you see that not a huge base to it i have to go wash my hands after this it's cray cray here's that blue one that came broken this green one feels a little dry hmm. well that's nicer when it's swatched out it's a lot nicer it felt pretty dry in the pan though just like not a ton of oils but it did swatch pretty well all right let's swatch some of these matte shades i did use some of these mattes already like the green ones when i was putting a look together and they worked really well this one's really really light but there is a shade swatched there hmm and they're swatching okay but again like i've used some of these and they actually performed really well even though they're not like swatching the greatest i think i'll swatch oh my gosh these are really staining me this boozy lavender shade which actually looks kind of blue i don't know if these are pretty desaturated and maybe that's just why they feel like a little bit more dry you know because they're just like a lighter color story in general it's like supposed to be like a lighter summer palette you can definitely tell this is a black base shimmer the one that came busted anyway really pretty this one might be a more difficult color story for me you know to put together because you've got that really deep like ba black based shimmer here metallic it's, i think it's a duochrome it's like purple to blue like there's nothing like super deep in here to pair it with you've got two blue shades but i don't know if they're great for building depth in the outer corner so maybe this palette is good for like kind of pastel -y or light shades and this formula does not feel exactly the same as what's kicking around in that last palette that we just swatched all right let's go over a brand that i have featured on my channel before i don't know if i've actually tried any of them on but i have picked up several palettes from give me glow cosmetics and I wanted Mystical Garden for a while, but I think this is a more expensive palette, so I didn't initially pull the trigger. And it must have been some sale that they were running, so I decided to pick it up. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. It's, it's really hard to tell. Sometimes I get points for, like, shopping on their site. Look at this thing. This package weighs, like, three pounds. It is so freaking heavy, and this is, like totally glued on here this is fully raised still focusing on me there we go it's a really nice palette and it's such a neutral color story like this is so good for every day with just pops of blue that i thought i would have a really good time with this like i could wear it all the time the only thing is there's only three shimmers in here so it's pretty matte heavy so you kind of have to like that but you have pairings here, which makes sense to me. This shimmer could go with any one of these, I'm going the wrong way, these mattes. Same thing with this and this little quad section and this same thing. And you could build looks off of each one of these like little section quads. So it makes a ton of sense, but you could also pair them together. So the three shimmer shades, Think it necessarily bothers me the way that they have this laid out but you know you're not going super heavy on the shimmers 
I think the majority of the price of this palette probably came from the fact that it's a pretty heavy duty palette and I think these are magnetic and removable as well. All right, let's just like jump around and swatch some of these mattes. Wow, they are creamy, creamy, shmimi. I took like one from each of the quads essentially. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how well these mattes swatch, sh swatch. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Oh my gosh, they're actually like falling apart. They're all over the desk. Oopsies here. They're creamy, but they literally fell apart all over the table. They're so powdery. Oops. I think you can expect the blues in here will probably stain you a little bit. I'm gonna swatch like a couple more of these matte shades just to give you guys kind of an idea instead of like jumping all around. Oh, there's nothing on that finger. Anyway. Mystical Garden. It's pretty. Again, I'll probably stick to the, the color story inside of the quads to create a look. And I think that these are like lighter shimmers. I don't think they're super foiled. I think they're more like, I don't know, sparkly than they are like duochromes or heavy foiled metallic shades. I'm a little concerned about the mattes. I think they're going to be super pigmented. I just worry that they're going to be super fragile and a ton of kickback is kicking up in the pan and was like falling off of my finger as I was swatching it. Okay, look what the two blue shades did, this finger and this finger. So these are definitely a shadow I would want to put down a primer probably before I would use this shade so that it didn't stain my lids. Put a primer down. Look at, I can, can't even get these two shades off. All right, the next one I have, I have tried several palettes from them at this point and have hauled other ones. From Unearthly Cosmetics, this is the Fall Magic palette. I wanted to pick up some more Unearthly palettes, but they're so freaking pricey and I feel like they're just getting more expensive. And some of these, depending upon the shades that come in them, are more expensive than ones that are the same number of pans in very similar packaging, just depending upon like how many duochromes and multichromes that they have in the palette. And I don't know how many is in this, but this is so my kind of color story. It's got greens and burgundies and a deep black shade. And I'm hoping that this is like a true burgundy shade because if you guys hear me talk about burgundy shades, a lot of times they come out like bright purple on me and I don't love that. And even though this is a fall themed color story, still I will wear fall colors all year round. Ooh, this one looks like a duochrome or a multi-chrome. It's like green to purple. Oh, this one too. This is like a purple to green. Will it show? There we go. Got it. Sneaky little sucker. And I think my favorite translucent white shades come from Unearthly Cosmetics. This looks like a bright white, you guys, but it's like blue almost. Let me do this. It's like straight blue. It's actually really pretty. All right, let me swatch these last three shimmers. We might as well go full shimmer. It's one row shimmers, one row matte. That also makes sense to me. It looks like a very understandable color story. Okay, you got some different textures in here, but I don't think aside from this one, this white one, that the other two that I swatched are duochromes. But yeah, these are always like my favorite inner corner highlights because they're like bright white in the pan, but look how like yellowish blue they turn out to be. All right, let's swatch some of these mattes here. I think we can swatch them all. They're not in order, but I think I can get them all on here. Oh, this one's like a dark green. I thought it was gonna be a black, but this one is like more deep, more deep, is deeper than this one, which I thought was black, which is like green. And this one right here is like, I don't know, almost a brownish black. I think this one will come out like a true burgundy though. So I'm hopeful. So that is like the full color story. I ended up swatching the whole thing. Pretty cool, pretty standard. Could see myself like loving this palette in the fall or anytime, guys. If you've heard me say, like, don't bust out fall palettes in the fall. If you like to wear fall colors in the summer, you freaking wear fall colors in the summertime, okay? You do you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. My husband was making dinner when I was up here filming, so I had to go downstairs, and then we had the grocery delivery. I scheduled it for delivery. We hate doing that, but some Sundays, I just, I feel like you have to because we're cleaning the entire house. I'm trying to film, I'm trying to edit. The kids need to like bathe, laundry, it's worth the extra $10 sometimes. So they all went out to go swimming. I had to finish the dishes. Then I had to put away all of the groceries and I'm now sweating profusely. Like, 
anyway, let's wrap this up, you guys. Let's get to these last two palettes. So this is a brand new brand to me. This is from Makeup Rituals. Rituals with a Z. It's To Love Thyself. I think I picked this up on Etsy. I'm pretty sure. And it it could have been like I was looking at shop and looking at the palettes that were for sale from like other similar sellers. And that's where I found Makeup Rituals. Anyway, this palette just looked really cute. I don't think it was that expensive. And shipping was super fast. This looks cute, little adorable nine pan. I feel like the next one I also picked up on Etsy and I feel like I have another one coming from Etsy as well. I don't know, there's some really interesting looking indie brands that sell off of like the Etsy shop. So I already started swatching these you guys, but here's the color story. It's peachy row and then you can get some neutrals out of it, but also a blue row. I think this one up here kind of shifts like a little bit blue. So it would be good to pair with these other blues again i really like nine pan palettes i feel like there's usually a lot you can do with a nine pan these are a little bit foiled a little bit glittery i mean they swatch really well i want to say that a lot of the indie brand shadows like the shimmers they feel very similar when you swatch them but they're not all the same like longevity wise how they sparkle sometimes they're not as easy to work with some are more dry although there's a similarity to a lot of shimmers you know like as far as the indie brands go they might not all be like unique they might not be a unique formula they might be a purchased formula you know and i don't know what each of these brands does same thing with the mattes too you know so at some point like i probably have this formula already but again i still really like supporting independent brands like if i didn't think that we were like saturated with indie brands right now like i might try my hand at starting like an indie brand i would absolutely love to do that i've been looking into it like what would it take to get funding to start a brand you know as critical as i am but so many color stories have been done at this point and there's so many indie brands out there i just like i don't even know if there's room in the market for more I mean, that's really pretty. You can get some neutral looks out of it and a blue look. You can go more red or more pink or do a peachy kind of neutral look. Like the color story, the shimmers are all different. Like this last one is more foil. This is a softer, sparklier one. And this is a translucent duochrome. You can kind of see it's like green, but in the pan, it looks fully pink. So it's like a pink to green, sort of. It's kind of hard to see like back on the camera. I'm like looking in the viewfinder. Anyway, I'm just all down for trying indie brands all over the place. And I don't think that makeup rituals was that expensive. Okay, this last one, it's the Rebel Rouge Labs. And I also picked up that blush bronzer from them as well. This palette is Howlin' For You, which I feel like is another kind of like fall themed palette, like color story wise. Yeah, kind of. And it has one pressed glitter in here, which I didn't realize when I picked it up. I think I thought that that middle shade was just like a duochrome, but I don't always read it. But a lot of these seem like satin shades like let me show you like the shimmer formula seems very satin like especially in these bottom two on the outer corner like the purple and the green one and those oranges might be a little bit similar too so you know what since this is like a huge pan nine pan palette let's just swatch them all shall we yeah these two are like satins the green one <laughs> the green one and the purple one Ooh, nice and creamy eee. I think I swatched the glitter already. I was like swatching it on my son when it got here to make him all sparkly and to see like what the quality was like. I'm not really into a glitter. I just, I think they're fun sometimes, but you know, they tend to like get everywhere on me even if I wear a glitter glue. I don't think that one has the best stick to it. I could have done with like a nice, shimmer formula you know like a more metallic shimmer formula because all of these shimmers here look like satin shades like every one of them none of them are like full metallic so it would have been nice if that one had been a more foiled metallic shade i like the i just basically swatched that on top of that shade okay good job carrie yeah it's pretty fall you got some purples you got some greens and some oranges and a little bit of a grungier tones like in like this one right here but those are all satins every one of those shimmers is a satin shimmer i call them satins when they're not like foiled metallics but they're shimmers i just call them satin shimmers anyway yeah that glitter just looks kind of unappealing but the overall color story looks like a fun fall color story but again i'll probably use this anytime oh my god my daughter she's I have like full on conversations during filming with my family up here. Sometimes they like just come and sit in the corner. My daughter just came upstairs because she was in the pool 
She's wearing waterproof casts and they're supposed to get wet. She's having stretch casting done. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but her Achilles tendon started to get tight on both of her feet. Don't ask me how these kids do it, but she did. So instead of doing surgery, they're like, taking her feet and kind of like bending them backward. They got to the point where they wouldn't go to like neutral position, so she was walking on her tippy toes. So anyway, the pediatric ortho is now trying to stretch cast, but they push her foot down before they put the cast on. Anyway, it hurts her and they get really tight because they're waterproof. And so she like needs to go soak them and it feels really good, obviously the buoyancy from the water, but then she just comes in straight into the house, just sopping these wet casts around, just like, trudging all over the place and I'm over here like, did you just tread your, <laughs> oh, teenagers. Anyway, both of her feet are casted. Like, could you imagine? She's walking around with, like double cast. We just hear her all over the house like, don't, 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 don't. Like we call her Thumpelina. Okay, enough of that. Let's go into this. It doesn't even say like what it is or like what the shade is because this is just like a big sticker on it. It would have been nice if it had a shade. I think this was marketed as a bronzer, like a shimmery bronzer, but I have swatched it already and it's way too warm toned to just be a bronzer. So I was thinking I would use this as like a hybrid blush and bronzer because it has like this really nice sheen. I think I might not like this though. Like the idea of it is great, but it is way too warm toned. Yeah, I think this is just going to be like a product that I wear just as a blush slash bronzer. It looks like the Laura Geller like baked blushes. This is just a powder blush, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is baked. I like the sheen on it though. Anyway, I like to try other things from indie brands when they have them, when there are things that look interesting to me, not just the eyeshadow palettes, which are probably the best selling things I would say. All right, that is the end of the video. I always hope you guys enjoy these chatty haul style videos. If you guys aren't currently subscribed, I'd love to see you subscribe. I'm out of here for this evening and I hope to catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.